What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is December 23rd of 2017. Well, folks, it's time for another daily update here on the Data Dash channel. And today we're going to be mainly focusing on the price action over the past 24 to 48 hours in cryptocurrencies. I know it's been a whirlwind, a roller coaster, uh, and it's just been absolutely insane going up and down and up and down. So we're going to be diving into that throughout this video as that's going to be our main focus. However, before I dive into that, guys, I want to talk to you all about something that I'm really excited about. And no, I'm not selling you anything. It's something that more than anything, I want you all to become a part of. And it's something that is going to be a first time thing for me. And that is going outside of the country. That's right, folks. Data Dash is going to be landing on the moon. So get your get your rocket ship and come meet me up there. I'm just kidding. But I'm going to be for the first time traveling outside the United States and I'm going to be able to go international and come visit a lot of different countries and areas across the globe. So I'm really excited about this and the reason I felt motivated to do this is because we have such a global community. We're not just based in the United States, um, we really have people all over the place and it's going to be really cool to meet people from different countries and cultures that all share that same passion of blockchain, of cryptocurrencies and decentralization, something that I'm very passionate about. So. I really want you all to become a part of this and I want to come meet you guys. And I'm going to be showing you today my general route that I have planned right now and when I'm planning uh, to go. I'm going to be leaving uh, on January 14th is going to be where, uh, the, uh, in, where I'm going to be in my first location, uh, which is Ireland, as we'll take a look at here in a minute. But along with that, I'm going to be traveling to a variety of different countries and I'll go through them throughout the video. But first, I want to let you all know how you can vocalize your opinion. I know more than anything, you guys want to just tell me where you are and uh, if, if you guys want me to come and visit, feel free to fill out the form. So all you have to do is I'm going to have this link down below. It's a Google form down in the description and I'll have it as a pinned comment as well. But inside this, uh, all you have to do is simply put your email address, your name, you can just put your first name, I don't really need last name, uh, and then you select the area that you're in. And we have a list of a lot of places that I'm going to visit, I'll be going through these throughout the video, but you can also put other as well and put an area that I didn't list, but try to keep it in a, a similar fashion to the style that I have uh, listed out so if multiple people are putting the other category, they sync together, okay? And last but not least, this is very important, I don't have it as a uh, required thing, but if you do live in these countries and you've provided all the other information, it would be best just to give your phone number as well. Uh, and the reason is, is because I want to contact you through Telegram. I want to add you to a Telegram group. Let's say, for example, if I go to Sydney, Australia, I want to have you in a Telegram group for all my Australian viewers where I can let you all know where I'm going to be, when, so you can come and meet us and have a great time. All right. So don't worry. All this is private. It's uh, all the results are just simply under me and stuff, so not sending this out to anyone else. It's just a way for me to get a little bit of information from you guys and know who is where, how many people are there, and uh, how ready you guys are for me to come out and visit you. Along with that as well, you are uh, welcome to uh, DM me personally on Discord. Uh, as you all know, I have a Discord account. Um, I have a Discord channel, and I'll put a link for that in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And you guys can personally message me if you'd like, if you'd like to schedule some kind of conference or event. So we're trying to do a lot of that as we go across the globe here for Data Dash. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all the kind of general route that I have now. It's not final, but this is generally what I'm thinking of. So I'll fly out of the East Coast over to Limerick, Ireland, first and foremost. I'm going to be flying actually into uh, Shannon Airport over here. And I'm going to be coming into Limerick, and we're going to do a really cool little small conference here in Limerick, Ireland. Uh, I, I'm setting this up with a guy named Ken who lives out in Limerick. He's a really nice guy, and uh, he offered to set up a little conference to onboard a lot of new people into blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So I'm really excited about that. That's going to be on uh, January 14th. As of now, that's what we're planning for. And we're going to get a whole little place hosted and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. So if you live in Ireland, please uh, fill out that form and DM me personally on um, on Discord if you live up in Ireland. Along with that as well, uh, I'm going to be transporting over to Dublin. So if you guys live in Dublin as well, please let me know in that regard. And uh, I'll try to make it out there and spend some time. I know I'm definitely going to be going through the city. But after Dublin, I'm going to be taking the metro over towards the big spot, the United Kingdom, London. We're going to be going to London. And uh, I know many of you out there are viewers from the UK. So please let me know if you'd like me to come to London. I, uh, I know I'm actually already planning to go to London no matter what. But if you guys want to set up some kind of event, some kind of lunch meetup, uh, whatever it may be, or maybe a night on the town, we have a good time. Uh, I would love to come to London, come see you guys. And uh, after that, it's going to be a trip down towards Paris in France. I'm really excited to go see Paris as well. So if you guys would like to schedule something there as well, please let me know. That's going to be my next stop. 
After that as well, I'm going to be going down to Switzerland. I'm going to be taking the metro again down to Zurich. Um, either Zurich, it's going to depend. I either might go to Basel or Zurich first, but these are two stops that I'm planning to go to inside Switzerland. Um, and I, I think it's going to be awesome. My friend has ta told me a lot about Switzerland and from the research I've been doing. Beautiful, beautiful country. But along with that as well, I'm going to be going down into Italy, and I have three stops. I'm going to go into Venice, I'm going to go into Florence, and I'm also going to be going to Rome as well. So if you all live in any of those locations or near them, please let me know and fill out the form. And last but not least, inside Europe, I'm going to be going towards Athens, Greece, okay? So this is going to be a cool spot. I've wanted to always go to Greece. I think it's a beautiful, um, beautiful uh, place to visit. So I'm going to be going to Athens, Greece, and after that, I'm going to be flying out all the way over towards Singapore. And this is where I'm going to be at the BEF, or Blockchain Economic Forum, in Singapore in 2018. I got invited to this uh, from um, Kate, who has been the, the coordinator of the event. She's really nice. And hopefully, for some of you out there, I know we have a Singapore audience out there. If you guys would love to see me, uh, please come out. I'd love to see you all out there. And uh, hopefully, we can uh, have a meetup after I do all my conference stuff. Or maybe you can attend the conference. That'd be really cool. Along with that as well, and I'm so excited to announce this. I know my based Aussies out there are excited to do a meetup. So I would love to see you guys out there. Basically, for now, what I'm planning is I'm going towards um, the uh, this uh, su uh, the southern side of Australia. I'm thinking about potentially visiting Melbourne, but I know I'm going to be visiting Sydney. So for those of you in Melbourne, if we get enough votes, I might be able to make it out to Melbourne as well. I'm going to be spending about four to five days in Australia, so I definitely think I'll be able to make it out to both locations. But I'd love it to see all of you out there. Uh, I know that um, you know as as much as I want to visit all kinds of different areas and stuff. Either way, I want to make it work so we can see each other and stuff. Do some cool events. Uh, hopefully, set up a little conference. Or meetup. I, I know there's a lot of Australians out there who are getting excited about cryptocurrencies. So would love to see you guys out there as well. After that, I'm going to be traveling out towards Shanghai. I've always wanted to visit Shanghai. China in general has always interested me, but it is going to be awesome to go visit Shanghai. Really excited about that. I'm going to be spending a few days there. And then after that, I'm going to be out towards all the way back over towards the west coast of the United States. And I'm going to be going towards San Francisco as well as Los Angeles, potentially. I know I have San Francisco placed in the books, but if there's enough of you in Los Angeles, let me know. And I'll try to make it out there as well. Maybe I'll fly into Los Angeles first and then travel up to San Francisco. And then along with that as well, and this is kind of where it gets a little bit patchy. I'm not exactly sure where I want to go. I know I'm going to be visiting Canada. So uh, we got a few different cities to go through, like Montreal, Toronto, uh, Quebec, whatever it may be. Fill out the form and let me know if you guys live up in Canada. I know we have a good Canadian audience up there. And I want to make it out to as many locations as I can. However, as you all know, can't make it out to everywhere. So hopefully I'll be able to make it to one or two big cities there and we can do some kind of meetup. And then I'll be flying back to the East Coast back where uh, I, I live at home. So it'll be a very, very long trip. It's gonna be about a month to a month and a half, but I think it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be a blast and I hope to see you guys out there. So remember, fill out this form. Uh, again, if you don't see your location here, fill it out and maybe I can make a route around it and maybe fly a little bit more and go see some other areas and stuff, who knows. But again, I want to reiterate as well, uh, this is not going to be putting a dent in my content. I'm going to be producing content on the go. I'll be doing my daily updates. I'll be doing all kinds of different content. And I might even do uh, some different styles of videos as well, seeing as I'm on the go. Uh, and maybe we'll be able to uh, live stream, for example, the conference that I'm having in Limerick. I'm going to be having that live stream. So you guys can come watch me in Ireland if you guys can't make it out. So. It's gonna be really cool. There's all kinds of stuff coming in the pipeline, guys. I'm really excited to come visit you guys. Please fill out that form. Again, I can't reiterate it. I wanna come see you guys really bad and uh, hopefully get a few uh, groups together in the whole cryptocurrency community. So I'm really excited about it. Alrighty, so you guys were patient long enough. I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate you listening to me and stuff. And I, again, I do hope you fill out the form, but I know what you all are here for. You guys are curious about current cryptocurrency markets. So, What's going on with cryptocurrencies? Well, I thought we were just, you know, going through the panic sell of the century. And I thought people were saying Bitcoin was over and cryptocurrencies were no more. Well, <laughs> the 24 hour chart would tell otherwise on coin market cap. You can literally go through the entire list. And last time I checked, there was no negative cryptocurrencies. Even Tether's up 3.16%. I mean, everything is up right now. So it's been an absolute rebound. Uh, we've practically 
if we go ahead here and refresh the chart, we've practically gained back the mass majority of what we lost over the past few days. And it goes to show, guys, I mean, when these markets correct, when you get those kind of discounts, unless it's real fundamental fear in the market, you got to take these opportunities. Uh, for example, as you all know, I got back into Bitcoin around 12500 and I'm already up on that position. I have a few thousand dollars on each of the Bitcoin that I bought. So did really good on that. Uh, and along with that, my altcoins have recovered practically all their losses. If not, they've actually gone up and uh, higher, gone actually higher than it was before, at least in the Bitcoin comparative. So really excited about that. But I mean, guys, the market is just absolutely bullish right now. There's no like no other candidate right now uh, that really looks negative. Everything looks quite positive at the moment. And even if you go to the next page, if you're holding some of the smaller cryptocurrencies, I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So no negativity in this market. I think that kind of flushed out. Um, I, I will be fair, uh, kind of jump the gun here. I know a lot of you are probably concerned about you know my position on Bitcoin. Do I still think we're gonna touch the 100 day? No, I don't think so because we got a pretty clear bounce off the 50 day. It's again, it's kind of like uh, what I talked about in my previous video about how traders play uh, both ways. They have a strategy set and they use indicators as a, mid a medium to determine where the market is picking direction. If we got a bounce and close above the 50 day, it's pretty confident that we're just going to continue moving higher. And it looks like we did. It was very, uh, very short lived, but it was long enough to where you could have taken the opportunity to buy some Bitcoin. And luckily, I was able to not pick the exact bottom, but I got pretty much towards the lows. It was a really, really nice pick on my end, I think. Um, and I hope some of you out there, for those of you who were watching Bitcoin up here at 19 to 20,000 and you didn't buy, hopefully you were able to get some cryptocurrencies yesterday. That would be awesome. And hopefully you're up on your money. So anyways, yes, definitely, a, a definitely one of the nicest pullbacks we've seen in a while. And it was much needed in this market. The volume came in finally. If you look on some exchanges, I think Bitstamp, for example, had over 100,000 Bitcoin traded, 130,000 or something. So definitely very healthy for this market. And who knows, we might come back down and find more of a defined support on the 50 day. I don't know about it though. It really depends on how this candle holds here. Uh, I, again, not a market wizard, but we know that we're definitely on the lower end of things rather than the higher end. So, you know, again, uh, don't feel like you're you're really missing out if you feel like adding at fifteen thousand. Again, set your preliminary measures and make sure you know the risks of making that investment. Uh, again, I'm not advising you to buy Bitcoin or anything like that, but again. You know, you are on the lower end here comparative to the highs. And if we do revisit 20,000, uh, you know, from this range, you still got a ways to go. So I remember, I remember as I, I talked about up here and breaking the 200 hour, it's more of seeing the confidence factor of getting up above the 200 hour and finding support on it rather than seeing resistance at it. If we see resistance at these moving averages, if we see resistance, at, especially at the 200 hour multiple times, then you can expect probably that we're gonna make some more lows. And it might be an awesome opportunity to pick up some more cheap Bitcoin. I'm going to be keeping my eye on the hourlies. So again, to recap the strategy, keep it very short, simple and to the point. If we see continued resistance at the red line here, the 200 hour um, standard moving average, we're probably gonna go back and revisit the lows and possibly break down towards the 100 day. I don't know about that, we might see it. Um, and that's really worst case scenario. Best case scenario, and probably more likely, is that we're going to come up above the 200 hour and find support on it and then continue higher. So, I'm optimistic on the market, guys. Altcoins recovered and recouped a lot of the losses from yesterday, and we can obviously see that as we went down the list here. But there are just some players that are absolutely running up. Verge, now the 17th largest cryptocurrency, valued at $3.2 billion. I. <laughs> I have no way of understanding how this has happened, but it's it's crazy. Congratulations to those who are holding Verge. Digibyte coming out of the dark as well as Redcoin. A lot of these coins were coins that have been kind of abandoned. No one was talking about Sia coin, not too many people. BitBay, Ubik, Pivix. Uh, these are coins that I hadn't heard much about. Civic finally got some upside, uh, but the market has just been absolutely coming out of the grave. Players have been rising up and it is awesome to see. Now. As you can see here, we've recouped a lot of the losses here in the market, but I'm not gonna go uh, full bullish tone until we get above the previous highs at 652, until we get a rally above that level uh, in valuation. I think markets are sitting kind of on the sidelines now. And that's why, for example, when we were talking about Bitcoin, we're gonna watch those hourly moving averages because Bitcoin is going to be what either pushes markets higher 
or lower, okay? It is what's holding it together. And we saw that yesterday. Uh, when Bitcoin starts selling off dramatically, altcoins will follow. But if it's a simple correction, that gives, uh, for example, what we had over the past few days, where the volume wasn't too steady, there wasn't any panic in the market, that gives alts room to breathe. So there is that distinct difference. You can tell it in the momentum of the market of uh, simple correction of Bitcoin versus absolute sell-off. So again, markets are looking pretty medium right now. We'll have to see. I think for now that uh, there's more confidence than fear after all the sell-off yesterday because people buy low and they sell high, this, at least the smart investors do. And that's what we did yesterday. I think we uh, definitely got a great discount, bounce off the 50-day, very healthy for Bitcoin. It was the last time we've had this since November, early November. It was well overdue for Bitcoin. So good to see that. We'll have to continue watching it, guys, if things get crazy. As you all know, I will do a live stream, and I'll try to cover it as much as I can. But until we wrap up the update, let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the market leaders. I know some people are curious about Ethereum. Ethereum has, is seeing the resistance that we talked about at the 100-day. What you should look for now is to see if that it can hold above the 50-day, which was previous act, previously acting as resistance. And hopefully we can get support and not have a breakthrough like it happened over here if you're bullish on Ethereum. Um, outside of that, let's go ahead and take a look here at, um, actually, sorry, we'll take a look at Bitcoin Cash. Let's go ahead here. So Bitcoin Cash holding in there actually has been one of the strongest uh, uh, rebounds in the large cap, um, I would definitely say the large cap space. As you can see here, almost had a bounce off of the 200 hour, and then we have continued higher back up towards the top range for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I don't think, again, we're going to see the cashing, but you know, you could have a good trade opportunity if this comes back up here. If it curves back up and almost cups up towards the previous highs and it starts to break out, we might get some kind of crazy run up, but you're going to need the volume to back it up. So I'm not going to be trading Bitcoin Cash right now. Let's go ahead here, take a look at Ripple. Ripple is uh, definitely probably one of the more overextended large caps. This one has had a ridiculous run up over the past few weeks and got exactly what we were talking about. If it can get above the 200 day, you could see this go up more and more and it did. And uh, man, I gotta say, I, I, I would not be buying up here guys, just me personally. Uh, I don't buy high, I, I buy low or I buy when I see a run up, see a correction and I see support showing that it wants more room to go up. So. For now, it's overbought. It's been overbought for quite some time, and that's the first time we've seen that really since back over here, uh, back in May. So, I think like uh, sorry, not Litecoin. Um, I think Ripple's a little overextended, in my personal opinion. Now, speaking of Litecoin, let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin here. Litecoin itself still holding around the highs, just kind of bouncing around. Um, and of course, uh, a lot of the sell-off, of course, rebounded from yesterday. So. And there's not really not much you can do with this, guys. It obviously is clear that there's some resistance at 2 million Satoshis. You can see it right there. Um, I don't even think you need to look at the order book, but uh, there's just obviously some resistance at that level. The price can't seem to get above there. Again, attesting towards the fact that I think if you're buying here, you're buying at all-time highs, you're taking a big risk. So for me, Litecoin's out, but it, it could still have room to go. I'm not denying that. It had a nice little healthy correction. It could move higher. All right, going through a few more market leaders here. ADA. BTC Cardano. Cardano, I, I did the interview with Charles and stuff. Love the project to death, but I gotta say in a technical sense, this is quite overvalued right now. It's had a very extended run up. So I think you're gonna see this probably correct down, probably back down to the 50 day. That'd be very healthy for this. Uh, for example, we see it at 3000 Satoshis. If we can see this come down somewhere in the 1500 to $2,000 uh, $2, range, or sorry, 1500 to 2000 sat range, that'd be very healthy for Cardano. Don't know if we'll get that though. But again, it was previous resistance over here. Could be an awesome level of support along with that 50 day. So keep an eye on that. Hopefully we can get ADA to pull back. And along with that as well, let's talk about IOTA right here. IOTA, I know many people have on the radar as well. IOTA, I was going, I actually did a small swing trade on. I made it like a little bit um, off, off of playing the bounce play. But uh, definitely uh, doesn't look like it's showing any real signs of direction right now. So I'm not going to be making any trade on it until I can see some really good technical price action on it. It's kind of shaky. But we did get a bounce off the 50-day, which was nice. But I think IOTA looks like it might be coming down for a little bit of a correction temporarily. As you can see, the wicks is overextended at the top and the candle is pointing lower. So not trying to be negative on it long term. Short term, though, I think IOTA's got a little bit of room to go down. All right, everyone. So that's it for the daily update. Thank you all so much for watching. Please, again, fill that form out. 
I'm almost like it's like it's almost like I'm shilling for the forum or something. I'm I'm shilling to meet you guys. <laughs> but again, guys, really would love to see you guys. I I love the fact that we have built this global community, and I do want to spend some time here at the end to say thank you because I wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, well, first off, I wouldn't really have a reason to do it as much as I do now, but I, I have the ability to come meet you guys and to travel the world and see people from all different walks of life that share this passion of cryptocurrencies. And it is quite a revolution. And I think we're just seeing the beginning of it. So hopefully we can all be a part of it and we can leave our, uh, leave our mark in the world and hopefully leave an impact to help teach others about this amazing technology and this revolution. All right. Well, anyways, everyone, that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay tuned.